The first act, in many ways the strangest and most terrifying of the entire decade, began in the spring of 1919, before the troops had even finished coming home. On the evening of May 1st, a night clerk at the main branch of the U.S. Post Office on 33rd Street and 8th Avenue happened to notice 16 slender, identically wrapped packages, each addressed to a prominent politician or businessman, and each containing enough nitroglycerin to blow a man's head off. Confirming deeply rooted American fears that sinister foreign elements were at work in the land, Revelation helped set in motion the Red Scare, a wave of political reaction and xenophobia unlike anything seen in the country before or since directed at cities with large populations of immigrants, and especially New York. Within months, groups that had enjoyed triumph and success only a few years before, immigrant workers, progressive reformers, and union organizers found themselves on the run. And there are mass roundups. People are taken out, put on Ellis Island, and if they're aliens, uh, they are slated for deportation. And of course, the most famous deportee who is sent off in this period is Emma Goldman. And it's like a fever that grips people. There's another wave in early 1920, and then it breaks. It was like the fever had broken. And it's, I think, then that we really move into the 20s and we've moved into a, a new climate. The communists are gonna be driven underground. The labor movement is still there, but it's in serious disarray. You created a space where both globally, in terms of the competitors in Europe or basket cases, uh, uh, business uh, in the United States and in New York in particular, uh, is looking at fabulous possibilities for normalcy, for profit making, for getting on with business.